about 2 million years ago man appeared he has become the dominant species on the earth all of the living things animal and plant live by his sufferings he is the custodian of life on earth and in the solar system it's a big responsibility no suffering how to do that george wall born november 18 1906 in new york died in 12th april 1997 in cambridge in the united states of america was an american scientist who studied pigments in the retina He won a share of the 1967 Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine. George Wall said, Man has become the dominant species on the earth and all other living things, animals and live by his sufferings. Yes, once man became the dominant, for that matter, the dominant, the, the dominant person in the house, dominant person in the governance, dominant person in the departments police department dominant person in the school anywhere why when they become dominant they make others suffer all of the living things and in the solar system it's a big responsibility because of that sufferings man entered into a field a beautiful field called hospitals sufferings when you suppress a person that person enters into a a system called dislocated easiness when your easiness is dislocated it is called a disease and then the dominant person in that society immediately finds a method how to treat that dislocation of the dizziness and he brings in pharmaceutical companies factories to produce more medicines suddenly you find there is a big amount of money for him to live in happiness so he built a very beautiful house a mansion and then he starts suffering inside that mansion because he get disconnected with the love of the people he get disconnected with the company of the beautiful people he get disconnected with the nature he couldn't walk freely among the crowd because a doubt enters into him that people are out to destroy him sufferings are on both the sides george wall's about 2 million years ago man appeared 300 years ago yes another one group which was the dominant species when people started asking for more freedom they created industrial revolution and dragged people into the major cities so that they do not sit in the villages and create an anger against the people who are ruling they are asking let us also get a chance to rule not only you the ruler let us rotate it up so they are not willing to rotate they brought in industrial revolution drag people when people are dragged into the cities automatically without a single shot being fired they have been destroyed they became slaves wife on one side husband on another side they the dominant species continued but the dominant species is not understanding the suffering is on both sides i have seen quite a lot of big rich houses yes they made everything but they were not been able to make the children happy children were asking for this or that there is no love relationship at all no respect at all and then we find they were suffering children leave them take the money and then parents are in the hospitals variety of hospitals how to bridge that gap that is the question now it's nothing go back to your family wherever you are never mind let us drop the thinking of dominance instead if you can sit together and discuss i think uh, it things makes much easier and a sharing should be a way of life and there is more sharing and also the dominant member of the house if it rotates his power with the discussions and make sure that rotation should be always with the discussions 
i think we can bring down a lot of diseases we can bring down a lot of sufferings disease is a major part when you suppress whether teachers suppress the children or children suppress the teachers teachers are forced because of the salary they have to complete their portions factories were able to suppress the people shut their mouths so that they could get the physical body to move faster to get the works done so that more things are produced more money comes when they need more money because behind them there is another political game going on they are forcing these people to give them more yes so suffering is a chain link we can break the chain link by going back to your family sitting with your family and then you can see love blooms family who sits together eats together prays together grows together that family has got a connecting link to the joint family and stands tall the family to we can bring back that feeling which has got disconnected in the last 300 years go back to your family and create yes a love of all it's a very fragile earth is very fragile yes when you see from the uh, from the moon of yes it's very fragile it is not very big to extend and why are we all fighting among each other just share the love any time it can break into pieces defensive tactics all war mongers called their establishments a defense establishment can you believe with keeping a lot of massive amount of nuclear bombs atomic bombs to destroy other people and they call it defense structures and uh, defense structures big gangsters holding on to huge amount of weapons and calling the other person aggressor can you feel it so same was used by the dominant species whatever he says is right and other persons are all wrong if they don't listen to them if they don't listen to them then they have the police and the court to drag them to beat them and that's what is happening in a democratic country policemen beating up people government departments called the bt and bbmp and all coming and demolishing children people's houses after allowing them to build up abusing <laughs> it has become a way of life let us come out of that go back to your family let them do whatever they want if you don't participate they will crash yes george wall said about 2 million years ago man appeared he has become the dominant species on the earth all of the living things animal and plant live by his sufferings they made everybody to live by their sufferings he is the custodian of life on earth and the solar system is a big responsibility